so the video title is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, I've challenged myself to eat from convenience stores for the last 24 hours of my trip here in Japan. Um, challenge is not really an accurate way to describe this because eating at convenience stores in Japan is not only super easy, um, but generally the food is really good. So, um, yeah, for the moment, let's just start the challenge. It is breakfast time, so I'm going to head downstairs. Uh, there is a family mart literally in, like, the first floor of my hotel, so I guess we will head there first and get something to eat. These sandwiches looked so freaking good, but I knew I was probably going to have one for lunchtime, so I kept on looking. And these looked really delicious as well, but I didn't really have a way to eat them since my hotel didn't have any bowls. So I went for my trusty favorite yogurt, um, and as you can see, they have so many options. This one was really well priced for how much yogurt you get. It was like a dollar seventy, and then this one down here is my favorite. I highly, highly recommend that, and it's like. $1.50 so such a good deal and of course when it came to a drink I didn't even have to think about it I'd been starting my day pretty much um, every day with this lemon tea it's just super refreshing so I'm not usually a big breakfast person I usually prefer to eat something like yogurt um, which is what I have here today the yogurts here in Japan are absolutely delicious um, most of them usually have uh, like fruit pieces in it too. This is my favorite drink in Japan, the lemon tea. You absolutely have to try it if you're here. And just a trusty old banana, which I guess is a Philippines Highland banana, if that makes a difference to anybody. So yeah, let's dig in. Seriously, this lemon tea is like the single most refreshing drink that I have ever had. Alright, let's try this yogurt. I don't think I've actually tried this particular brand yet, although I've noticed that they all seem to be very, very similar. I'm really fond of Japanese yogurt because it's not creamy. Um, it's kind of like a watery base. It's really refreshing in Australia. A lot of like the vanilla yogurts are really creamy um and i don't like that so yeah mm. god knows why they feel the need to wrap the banana but that is very japan <laughs> i mean there's not much to be said a banana's a banana right <laughs> I will see you guys at lunchtime. <laughs> Bye. There are so many onigiri and honestly all of them are pretty good but my favorite is definitely the tuna mayo but I eat that like every day so I wanted to try something new. I really wish I had gotten the chicken, broccoli and french sauce one that just seems way more interesting than the ham. And I knew that I really felt like some fruit, so I ended up grabbing a fruit popper and looking at the fresh fruit options. These apple bags are absolutely bomb, but I hadn't had grapes yet, so I went with those. I feel like most people go to Japan and lose weight. I did the opposite because I was eating so many baked goods. So I just wanted to show you guys I did not buy anything while I was in this section. It's really fresh. Mm. 
So I've just come back to the hotel to relax um, and I was feeling a bit peckish. So these are actually some biscuits I bought yesterday from Lawson's I'm pretty sure. Um, and they're chocolate digestive biscuits. And they're delicious. So they're just little ones. Um, but yeah, they're really good. <laughs> yeah. If you're craving like biscuits, um, but something that's not too sweet, these are perfect. And they are, they're from, they're from Lawson. I decided now is as good a time as any to go and get dinner. Um, it's just hit five o'clock. Um, and I do usually prefer to eat a little bit earlier. So we are going to complete our first day of the, um, convenience store challenge. Or actually we might go and get ice cream later. So let's not say that it's complete just yet. I am kind of craving something a bit spicy, um, so hopefully they've got like maybe a spicy noodle cup that I can get, um, and yeah, we shall, we shall go and investigate. I will see you guys down there. Japan really understands chocolate. These crunkies and these GABA ones were my favourites. I really recommend that you test them out. And of course, for dinner, we needed a drink. There are so many options, it's actually kind of overwhelming. Um, but I knew that I really felt like something chocolatey, so I was hunting for some uh, chocolate milk. And surprisingly, this was really the only option, so I bought it. Eating healthy in Japan as well is so affordable. Everything is so delicious and fresh, and the pricing is actually um, really good. Like this as an example was $2.20, and it was absolutely delicious. There were obviously heaps and heaps of these awesome looking meals as well, but I knew I wanted something small since I've been eating basically all day and um, this was it. Okay, so I just got back from the 7-Eleven. The girl was really kind. She was like, I'm not gonna put this in the bag because it's gonna melt um, since I have hot stuff in here. But anyway, let me unpack it for you. Okay, so we are up to the last meal of the day, which is dinner. As I was saying before, I really wanted something spicy, so I've gone with this um, Korean spicy tofu stew. Kimchi jjigae is like one of my favorite dishes ever, so I'm actually really excited to try um, a 7-Eleven version of it. <laughs> um, hopefully it's good. And I also got some, it's called bean starch noodle salad with chicken and soy sauce. Um, but it looks really good, to be honest. This is exactly the kind of thing that I like to eat. Um, kind of looks like japchae. And I got some of my favorite chocolates. Um, honestly, Japan does chocolate really freaking well. So I thought, you know, I would make the most of my last day here and enjoy some crunkies. And then I also got this... It says cocoa drink. I'm assuming it's chocolate milk and I'm really hoping it is because that's why I got it. I'm kind of craving just chocolate milk, you know. So anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so here it is with the lid off. I realized I didn't get any rice, which was a rookie error. Um, but it smells really good. So, And this one too. This I think is going to be delicious. I don't know why I'm suddenly like craving all of this spicy Korean food because I'm literally going to South Korea in a couple of weeks. Um, so I don't know if I'm just like mentally thinking about that and so I keep like craving Korean food. But I do generally at home also like cook and eat a lot of Korean food. So I suppose it's not that surprising. Um, let's try this. This, this coke cocoa drink. I really hope it's not some like dirty soy milk with like really dark chocolate. Mm. It tastes like a fancy chocolate milk. I think I might try this first. It just looks really refreshing to be honest. So it's got glass noodles. Um, Mushroom, egg, chicken, and some cucumber. Mmm! I 
that's freaking lit. Yum. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And it's like, it's super fresh too. And the flavors are really good. Oh. Okay, let's try. <gasps> Love kimchi jjigae. So kimchi jjigae, for those of you who are not aware, um, it has usually some pork. It also has onion. Um, this one has like some uh, shit mushrooms as well. And usually also quite... I really like the ones that put heaps of um, bean sprouts. I always put heaps of bean sprouts in mine at home. And of course we have the silken tofu. Let's try the soup first. Oh, it's not very spicy. I think they definitely must like bump down the spice a lot for Jap Japanese consumers. Um, they mustn't be that fond of spicy food, I guess. Um, Cause generally kimchi jjigae is really hot. Mm. I'm actually really annoyed by this because I've been here for six freaking weeks. I could have been eating this like every other day. <sighs> so it is the next day and I do have one more meal left. I thought I would go and pick up my favorite item um, and have that for breakfast. So let's go and get it. Ta-da! I have my most favouritest, strawberries and cream. Oh, this one has custard. I'm not sure if they always do, to be honest. Um, <laughs> probably. Anyway, these are so delicious. And then I have a warm uh, royal milk tea. So, yeah. These are actually the bomb. I was eating them pretty consistently for a while there. And I had to have a little break. Um... But they have strawberries and cream ones, and then they also have, uh, like, ones with peach or nectarine, like, different fruits in it, sometimes pear. Um, and they're also really delicious, so. <gasps> Itadakimasu. Sometimes, this one says it has custard. Um, sometimes they have like a layer of condensed milk and sometimes they're just cream but they're always delicious mm. delicious so the other half didn't have custard but this half has custard yum mm. <laughs> it's so good They have a whole bunch of royalties. I really like this one and there's another blue one. Um, but pretty much they all taste the same. Um, but yeah, they are a delicious way to start the day. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Come by. It's literally just like warm, sweet tea, like the kind that your grandma makes for you. You know, like it has that really nostalgic um, taste, but it's very delicious. Mmm! A 10 out of 10. 
anyway thank you so much for watching the video i hope you found some enjoyment or entertainment from it um like i said at the start of the video eating at convenience stores in japan is like going to a restaurant basically <laughs> um everything is really good quality it's usually very affordable and there is such a big variety i think that's all i need to talk about um in my experience um with convenience stores here in japan i would say that 7-eleven is the best option for uh like sandwiches for your onigiri for your like heat up meals and stuff i feel like 7-eleven just the consistency is a lot better there and the variety and they're usually stocked better um then i would say lawson's is definitely the best for like hot food so if you want chicken udon um they mostly just have chicken but they also have uh like pizza and um the like bao buns and stuff like that so um definitely if you're wanting to try some hot food here in japan from the convenience store i would recommend going to lawson's um but lawson's tend to be more expensive in regards to like everything else in the store and then family mart is kind of like a bit hit or miss i find i mean i say hit or miss but in like australian standards a, like family mart here in japan every single time is going to absolutely shit all over an Australian convenience store um, but if you're comparing it to Japanese convenience stores I feel like Family Mart is um, you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's not that good and then daily is kind of situational I would only really recommend going to daily if it's the closest one um, they do generally tend to have kind of like a more interesting bakery section in the daily yamazaki but um overall i would say the quality is not as good so <clears throat> i mean i am just basing that on like a couple of experiences i don't usually go into the daily yamazaki so i'm i'm not really 100% confident on my opinion but based on my experiences my ranking goes 7-eleven Lawson Family Mart Daily Yamazaki um so yeah anyway that's right I was ending this video um thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like feel free to share it um, around and if you are interested in more content i hope you'll stick around and watch another one of my videos <laughs> okay bye